What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome to a new introductory video. I'm very pleased to show you all Arcana Lacquer's newest collection, the Secrets of the Sea set. Uh, this, I, I'm, I'm titling this video as introducing because it's new to the channel and it is a newer brand, I should say. They have released polishes already, I think for the last couple of months, I should say, but it's new to the channel and introducing it. So no, I don't live under a rock. I know this brand exists, but here I am to uh, throw my swatches and my thoughts down into the pool. With that said, if you've tried this brand already, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts too, because you're about to, to be fair, hear my thoughts. This is an eight piece collection that is shimmery good. So shimmer lovers, you might want to take note. And we do have one hollow magnetic polish in this set. Uh, launching alongside this collection is a charity polish, and we also have a free gift with purchase. More on uh, how we obtain that in the recap of the video at the very end. The bottles themselves are 15 milliliter bottles. They are boxless, and they have a fan style brush. I would not classify their brush as a um, super fluffy type of wide brush, but I liked that it's not so dense that it's too much product, but it still also is at the same time enough that it fanned really well onto my nails, especially those of you who have a wide load nail problem like myself. So you'll see the performance of the brush as we go through these swatches. And I think it works really well for not just wide load nails, but also if you have more narrow nails, it's like kind of in between there. So I'm gonna quit blabbering and let's dive into the swatches. First up is Aurelia. This is inspired by Moon Jellyfish, and it's described as a white jelly base with green to blue to pink to purple shifting shimmer. I would describe Aurelia as sitting on the fence between a milky type of finish and a crelly. It's got this heavier plumping type of formula to it that I don't typically see with milky white finishes. However, it does build very much like one of those creamier type of finishes, if that makes sense. So I'm going to suggest between two to three coats. If you have a very prominent free edge, I think you'll see just the tiniest bit of a peekaboo effect on that third coat. It's going to be very subtle, but it will be there. The shimmer is quite strong in this. You'll mostly see it in that bluish type of shift and indoor and dull lighting. Like you see on my swatches here, it has a harsh dry down. So I would suggest a good glossy top coat. And next up is Don't Eat Me. This is inspired by uh, Violet Nude Bronx. This one's described as a neon magenta base with gold glitter and yellow to orange to red shifting shimmer. Now, please note this is a neon type of color. So just in case it gets skewed across monitors, I think that this is what I would consider a true magenta. So we've got this purpley pink type of appearance going on. Overall, it is quite strong on the shimmer factor too, mostly this goldish type of appearance. It has a very strong, crelly, opaque type of formula, very easy and rich to build to opacity. So I think two coats, even for me, was perfect. It will also dry down on the more flat side, so use a good glossy top coat. And Predator in Pink is inspired after Pink Native Ronks. This is described as a light coral pink base with peachy pearlescent and orange shimmer. This one had a, an interesting type of formula to me. I want to classify it as feeling like a curly type of base in, in how it plumps up and builds up. But it also, in my opinion, changes the opacity almost like a jelly. But regardless, it's a heavier formula. It's too heavy to be a jelly. So just my thoughts on that. Predator is quite smooth on how it applies, and it's got these tiny little golden flakes. I think that's probably what the, the orange shimmer is. It's like a larger particle appearance. I would suggest three thinner coats on this as it has a plumping factor, and it will also dry down quite flat. So again, finish with a really good plumping, thicker, glossy top coat. Underwater Grove is one of my top picks, of course. This one's inspired after Coral Forests and is described as a neon blue base with yellow to orange to pink shimmer. I would classify the shimmer flex to this one as really heavily flirting with being 
a foil type finish. We don't necessarily have that glistening, almost glittery appearance that we see with true foils, but the shimmer in my opinion is quite large particle. So it's very obvious, like what you're seeing on the video. Very shifty too. And that blue base is almost, and I dare say almost, kind of grayed out a little bit. It, it's not like a, a bold type of medium blue, a little bit on the lighter side, if that makes sense. I'm going to suggest three light coats. It's very plumping in formula, so just go in light and prevent any over buildup and use a good glossy top coat. Arcane Tides is inspired after Colors of the Ocean, and this one's described as a bright blue base with blue to teal shimmer and teal metallic glitter. I think this one is so pretty. It's such a flattering color. I mean, so far, the colors we've seen thus far are very, very flattering. I thought they popped ridiculously well on me, and I can see them looking great on any skin tone and or warm or cool undertones. Arcane Tides also has that somewhat heavier formula to it. And again, I don't mean that in a bad way. It builds very easily to opacity. That's a very good thing. I think two to three coats is perfect for opacity. If you're going to do three coats like yours truly, I would suggest going in quite light on your coats because again, strong, plumping, squishy factor. This one also has a very flat dry down. My Life as a Shrimp is our magnetic for the collection, and it's inspired after mantis shrimps. It's described as a teal green jelly base with a small bit of copper to gold shimmer, holographic magnetic pigment. I would describe shrimp as being a true jelly formula in that, yes, you could probably stop at two coats, but you'll see a touch of your smile line. And at three coats, it still has that lighter looking appearance, though, in my opinion, it is like 98% opacity. If you have a super strong free edge and you went in lighter at your coats, you could probably see your smile line a touch. It's very subtle, though. Now, this looks stunning, unmagnetized, but when you magnetize it, it's so very magical. We have that obvious silvery type of magnetic hole going on here, and it just gives way for that red shimmer to just shine through. And I just think it popped really well on both the magnetized and unmagnetized portions. Now, if you choose to magnetize it like I do with the DRK Magic Magnetic Top Coat, I did do two coats of that as the magnetic particles are, in my opinion, of the heavier type. So just make sure you're magnetizing for maybe five, 10 more seconds longer than you normally would. You'll want to finish with a good glossy top coat though to give it that nice glass-like appearance. Eat Sleep Photosynthesize is inspired after leafy sea slugs and is described as a dusty green base with violet to red shimmer. I'm not surprised we're seeing a ton of new to inspiration here. They are so colorful and for slugs, I have to say they're actually kind of cute. Anyways, so photosynthesize is again, a true jelly like formula. It's on the lighter side. And I think if you have a super prominent free edge, longer nails, all that good stuff, you'll probably see the tiniest bit of a peekaboo with your smile line in super bright lights. Again, it's not the, the most sheer polish we've come across, but it is on the softer type of buildup. The shimmer is quite strong, which is good. We want that to shine through between the coats and it dries down also flat. The shimmer does have a very lovely duochrome like effect, like what you're seeing on my macro shot there. Into the Abyss is inspired after the depths of the ocean. And it also says in our PR information here and also black and green nudibranx. So the, the official description is a black jelly base with green to blue to purple shimmer. This is very much true to the inspiration. It's like a swampy type of base color. And then overall, what's going to build up to opacity is all of that shimmery goodness. I would classify the shimmer to this also as being on the larger particle side. It is shifty, but I think if you're in brighter or indoor type of lights, you're going to see that emerald green you see on the video here. At angles, there is a blue shift. It's just kind of twist your nail a little bit, kind of like on my macro shot there. This will also dry down on the flat side, so I would suggest three coats and a good glossy top coat. Now here is the gift with purchase. This is Sea's End. It's inspired after the wet sand where the beach and the ocean meet. 
This one's described as a light brown base accented with green to yellow flakes, yellow reflective glitter, and green to blue shimmer. Now, uh, please note in our PR information here, it does state that this gift with purchase will be sent to the first 20 two zero orders. So I'm, I'm going to go out on a whim and say, if you want this one, make sure to get there when the launch starts. C's end is quite neutral on myself. It's very warm. And if you are warm undertoned and medium toned like me, I think this will pull very neutral on you, almost blend in with your skin tone. So I think it'll play up against skin tones across the range. I'm going to suggest three coats and a good glossy top coat to plump it up. And lastly is the Charity Polish. This is my Dove in the Sky. It's described as a light to dark purple thermal polish with purple shimmer and small silver flakes. $2 from each purchase will be donated to the Hope House of Maryland, a center for rehabilitation and treatment for addiction. I will have a link for that in the description box if you want more info on that. Dove in the Sky is another medium type of density to it. It plumped up really well on the second and third coat. I wanted to see what that third coat looked like. I super waffled on whether or not I even needed it. So honestly, kind of yes and no. If you tend to polish super thin, I could see it. Otherwise, I think two normal coats is perfect. Thermal properties are very reactive and you can see those cute little silver flakes on both the cold and the warm states. Now this one also dries down really flat. So you might want to use a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat in tandem, not because of thirstiness or texture, but just to super gloss it up. And we're going to wrap this up with the wallet topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. So overall, I've been saying heavier, denser type of formulas, and I was pleasantly surprised that most of these do topper really well. Aurelia is quite dense, and I went in super thin. I would just go in a touch heavier to prevent dragging. Same thing with Don't Eat Me. I think it kind of ate up the neon properties and vamped it out. Predator in pink, same thing with that shimmer. It's quite strong and took on a completely different look. Underwater Grove toppered very well in addition to Arcane Tides, just be mindful of their respective base colors as they're quite heavily tinted. Life as a Shrimp is interesting to me and I wanna say it toppers, but personally, I don't think you're doing it justice, but the red shimmer does look better over the darker color. So I'm gonna just flat out classify it as being versatile. Photosynthesize looks wild over black. It doesn't even look like the same polish like at all really cool. I think you can do quite a bit with color theory on that. Into the Abyss is very pretty. If you wanted more of a stark black background, this could be an option. And the gift with purchase takes on a completely different appearance over black. Because the base isn't super tinted, I think you could get creative with toppering this one. And my Dove in the Sky, personally, I just, I don't know, over white, I could see Somewhat see both warm and cold states, but I just don't think you're doing the overall formula justice by toppering it even over light colors. So the Secrets of the Sea collection is going to launch this Friday, July 12th at 6 p.m. Eastern time. I will link you all below to Arcana Lacquer's website. Launching alongside this set, we have a cuticle oil pen. Let me grab it here. We have the scent Honeyed Ambrosia and it's in a three milliliter uh, clicky style uh, pen brush uh, thingamabob. I am so frazzled after this week. I'm telling you, I just, whenever you're going on a trip somewhere, it's things are just going to happen. Anyways, the scent notes to Honeyed Ambrosia are a light, sweet summer scent with notes of honeysuckle, citrus, agave, magnolia, jasmine, blackberry, patchouli, and musk. So uh, to my nose off the bat, I'm not smelling, it's about this distance from me, I'm not really smelling much. Definitely honeysuckle. I'm getting this floral type of, definitely the, the jasmine's probably on the middle note, but the honeysuckle's at the forefront. If you like florally nectar type of smells, you'll definitely enjoy this. The, the scent itself is super light, super subtle, and you have to get pretty close to uh, 
your nails once you apply it in order to smell it really well. So if you're sensitive to smells, this uh, might be an option for you. Now, uh, the oil itself is what I would classify as being after trying it out after the last couple of nights. Uh, the oil itself is what I would classify as being a lighter type of formula. These types of oils that are not super heavy and just kind of stick to your skin for a little while in like a super dense moisturizing way, these are what I usually reach for after I've washed my hands, things like that throughout the day. Uh, not so much in my morning and evening routines. So if you're looking for something to just kind of keep in your purse and just use all the time or just keep it on your person, I think this might uh, definitely be something you want to try. So I will link you all to the Arcana Lacquer website and I'll also link you to their Facebook group if you have not joined that. Again, this is all new stuff and congrats to Arcana Lacquer. You are making some beautiful polishes. I wish you all the success and this is definitely a brand you want to check out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.